so one last question among many that we had here. Um, do you have any sex tips for postmenopausal women? Yes, do I have three hours time now? <laughs> Very short. Uh, I did do a book, of course. I have now 31 books. I did a book, Sex Over 50. And one of the questions that I devote a whole chapter is the importance of being sexually literate after menopause. In the Jewish tradition, it says, a man is obligated to continue to provide sexual satisfaction to his wife, not to just anybody in the street, to his wife after menopause, which is very interesting. So it's not just for procreation, sex is for recreation. But men and women need to know, there are certain things they have to know. A lubricant has to be used so that it's not having intercourse with a dry vagina because it's painful. The other thing they have to know, not to engage in sex in the evening when they are tired. They have to know that a man uh, should engage, at a certain age should engage in sex in the mornings when testosterone level is highest. It will be an easier time to obtain and maintain the erection. I can talk about these things. I have all of the credentials. And it's very important, this again has to do, like your other question about education mm -hmm. with children, that we have to tell older people, and I would like to see Marie Claire to have an issue, and I'm willing to pose, but not naked, <laughs> but I'm willing to pose in a nice negligee to show that older people should continue to be sexually active. It says so in our tradition, and I believe that you can be sexually active until the age of 90, and as Deborah Jo Rapp, um, says that I'm raising that bar every year. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to see Marie Claire. I will bring. I issue, will bring your offer back to the mothership. And I will. <laughs> and I will help you. We'll get you a bearskin rug, the whole nine yards. <laughs> I, I roaring fireplace. Anything, but no, roaring fireplace. I like. <laughs> <laughs> not not naked, but with a nice. I have to tell you. We'll something. get you designer. We we can get you designer. I have to tell you, a nice sexy negligee but not with the breast showing i don't like that for older people because i i don't mind for you younger people if it's a little decote not on not on the show but in general for older people i do not like it because it does not look good mm. for older people i would like to see a little some silky um, cover here but something very sexy to imply that there are still Sexual. I love it. And sexually active. How fun is that? And and have orgasms. The orgasm might not feel as strong as when they were young. Mm. The man's ejaculation might not be as strong as when they were younger. But don't stop having sex. The Jewish tradition says that. Shall you hear that? It's a mitzvah. <laughs> a mitzvah. Friday night. <laughs> Or, according to you, Saturday morning. Right. right. <laughs> and, That's very good. And in the Jewish tradition, it says exactly how often a couple should engage in sex. Uh -oh. For example, a sailor once every six months, and I told my daughter never to marry a sailor. 